and welcome back to Just Wing It. Hey, we are back with the UMX uh, E-Flight, UMX MiG-15. This is a, a little 28 millimeter uh, EDF uh, electric ducted fan. We're back here in Barstow, California. As you can see, it is, look at the smoke from the wildfires. We're down in the middle of the Mojave Desert and wildfires are many, many, many miles away. You can't even see, I mean, a couple of miles. It's just, look at that. That's not fog, ladies and gentlemen. That's smoke from the fires. And earlier there was dust or ash was falling on my car. And I'm thinking, gosh, I hope I don't wreck my fan. You know, I mean, ingesting a bunch of, ingesting a bunch of uh, ash. Anyways, this is another by request video, believe it or not. I've, I get a lot of requests to shoot MiG-15 videos of the, the MiGlet, and it's it's kind of, you know, it's 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 humbling. It's kind of shocking, I guess. People just love this little thing. I love this little thing. Um, so sometimes, I, you know, it's just all about time, and it's we're just coming out of the summer here in the Mojave Desert, and it's it's been above 100 like every single day, so it's just really hard to get a plane out and fly it when it's over 100 degrees. Um, so this is one of the first mornings I've had in a very long time to get out here. It's still going to be over 100 today, but right now I think it's about 75 or so, so we should be good. So hey, I've got a, I've got a, a Dynagis uh, 35C 300 milliamp battery in her. We're going to fly it and see if there's any difference between this and the e-flights because i keep getting told by by people in rc groups oh you gotta get a a really good low sag battery and you know blah 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 okay got it so you know what we're gonna find out <laughs> whether that even makes a difference or not plus i've also got a babble bat we're gonna be flying in this thing later on so we'll see how all that goes in any event let's get this in the air um and and stop babbling uh, as they say so uh the wind's coming out of here actually out of the west so, um, yeah, so it's a beautiful little model. It really, really is, as you can clearly see. So let's go ahead and get her in the air. Here we go. All right, and away she goes. That was actually a really uneventful launch. Um, wow. So yeah, she's flying really good. I kind of like the way it's balanced with this battery. Hey, I've got this battery all the way front like I always do, you know? Look at the throttle there. That's like half throttle. That's below half throttle. What in the world, right? I guess it's not too nose heavy, huh, ladies and gentlemen? Look at that, okay? So don't tell me it's too nose heavy with this battery in here, all right? Because it ain't. Um, I'm just not buying it, okay? I'm not buying it. I know she's specking out. I got it. But uh, let me go ahead and bring her in here. We're going to go full throttle. Downwind pass. Okay, pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, I mean, it's, I, I don't think it's any faster than with the E-Flight battery, but all right, whatever, it's supposed to be. So, hey, if people say it's faster, then it's faster, all right? <laughs> I love this thing. I'm sorry, but I just do. Oh, anyways, uh, here we go. Here's another with the wind pass, about five mile an hour. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> How that happened, I'll never even know. Let's do some more limbo. <laughs> all right. Wow. Gosh, man, flying around all these darn poles and wires and just everything else is just bleh. Anyway, it's supposed to be about seven miles an hour today. Um. So you know, I don't know. Maybe it is. Maybe it isn't. I don't know. We'll see what happens. It ain't it ain't that right now, I'll tell you that. So But it's about five probably. Uh you know, you can kind of keep this thing in close. I mean I'm trying to. I, I know it's specking out bad, plus with all the ash in the air, it's probably blending in, right? So there's there's all the way off off there's all the way off the throttle. So we'll go ahead and give her some throttle. So for those of you naysayers, oh you gotta fly your battery all the way back to the fan. It's like I don't think so because it's not running out of elevator, okay? So, newsflash for those aeronautical engineers out there, you know, that are saying I need to be flying my batteries back. Um, I'm not running out of elevator. So, so, <laughs> that thing's silly. Oh my gosh. Anyways, I love this little guy. All right, so we're going to, uh, I guess we'll try to do a, 
a loop, you know, so let's see. So full throttle, into the wind. Oh, not bad. Wow, that's probably one of the best loops this thing's ever done. <laughs> All right, that's not bad. All right, and how many? Oh, 30 seconds. Okay, I've got a 300 milliamp battery in there. I'm not sweating it. Um, I only fly for three minutes with this little guy. So let's go ahead and line her up. Let's do a aileron roll. All right, not bad. All right, cool. Okay, let's go ahead and bring her on in and do a debrief, okay? Um, yeah, so again, sorry for this thing being so specked out. But uh, as usual, I've got... Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh. She just went right into the light. Uh, let's see what happened. <laughs> Is it in one piece? I doubt it. Is it a wreck? I don't know. Let's find out. Oh, no. Oh, look at that. Will you look at that? Right into the light. That's awesome. So there you go. All right, well, <laughs> that's it for today. Um, we're going to go ahead and have to repair it. So it's not that bad. So looks like looks like I can just sort of bring that out and repair it. So that's what we're going to do. That's what we're going to do. We're going to bring this out a little bit. We're going to unwrinkle it, and we're going to repair it. The big thing is, does the battery get wrecked? No, it didn't. Okay, so so there you go. Oh, so let's walk back and do a debrief. Um, so yeah, so the little miglet. Just had an accident. <laughs> um, yeah, it went right. In, but you know what? Did you see that? Went right up into the light pole. That's not bad. Oh, I ripped all the cannons off. Got to figure out a way to do the cannons. Okay. All right. Well, um, anyway, we were going to line up and do a landing. But, but I guess we can't. So we had about 10 seconds left on that battery. So... So we'll see. So anyway, so my, but you know what? Hey, she still looks good from this side. <laughs> no, I will show this side. So anyway, here's that. Whew. All right. Um, so we had a mishap. Light pole. She went to the light pole, went to the tree. And you know what? With these little guys, sometimes it's hard to judge, judge your distance. So hey, so there we are. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and repair the miglet. Uh, we're going to get her fixed up as best she can, and, uh, and we'll get her back out. So, hey, by request, <laughs> it's just the wildfire edition, right? Anyway, yeah, I hope you enjoy these videos. We're bringing them to you from the heart of the Mojave Desert. We're kind of irreverent. We like to have a lot of fun. Um, yeah. <laughs> anyway. Oh, man. I'll tell you what, I would say blue skies, but they're kind of ashen right now they really are this is all from the wildfire so hey blue skies happy landings not quite a happy landing but hey blue skies happy landings all the best from just wing it stay tuned for more great videos of the miglet coming soon to a uh to a youtube channel near you <laughs> so thanks for tuning in to just wing it if you like what you see smash the like button go ahead and hit the notification button and uh, wish everyone all the best. And again, happy landings from Just Wing It. Cheers, everyone. The E-Flight UMX MiG-15. Great flying little plane. Two thumbs up.